Welcome to Module 1, Lesson 3. You're going to open up your page to page 16. In this lesson, our I Can statement reads, I can write and solve related addition and subtraction facts. What that means is we're going to look at addition facts and subtraction facts and find how the two of these relate and how we can use them to help solve the other problem. Let's go ahead and take a look at our first problem on page six. For build understanding, the question says, there are six ducks in a pond, then nine ducks join them. How many ducks are in the pond now? Letter A asks us, how can we draw to show the two groups of ducks? So let's think about this. We have one group of six ducks, and then one group of nine ducks that join. I'm gonna go ahead and draw my six ducks using blocks. So there's my first six, but I know that nine more ducks join. I'm gonna draw that below so that I can show the six that are in the pond and the nine that join. Right, so here's our six and our nine more. Letter B asks us, how can we write an addition fact to solve the problem? Well, we know that we have six ducks plus nine more. Go ahead and solve six plus nine. Good, you should have gotten the answer 15. We could have used a doubles fact of six plus six is 12 plus three more is 15. We also could have counted up from six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we know in total, how many ducks are in the pond? 15 ducks. Let's look at letter C now. How can you complete the bar model to show the problem? Here we have our two parts, group one of the ducks and group two that join. So in order to complete the bar model, we find the whole number of ducks in the pond is 15 ducks. Letter D says, how can you use the add-ins in the addition fact to find the difference for a related subtraction fact? Use the bar model to help. Let's remember our vocabulary. See here, our difference. When we take two away from nine, the difference is seven. That's the answer to our subtraction equation. So if we're answering this subtraction equation, 15 minus six, we need to find the difference between 15 and six. If we use our bar model to help, we know that if we have a whole of 15 and we take away this part six, how many will we have remaining? We will have nine remaining. Because we're gonna go to the next page and look at step it out. The first question says, use related facts to complete a bar model. Complete the addition facts. The first question we need to solve is nine plus seven. What are some ways we can find the sum of nine and seven? 
we could count on, we could draw a representation, but go ahead and solve for nine plus seven. Good, I'm gonna go ahead and count on from nine. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I counted seven more and found that nine plus seven was 16. So now let's look at seven plus nine. Because we know that nine plus seven is 16, we also know that seven plus nine is 16. Now we'll take those facts and complete our bar model. We need to think that our two parts add up to our whole. So we need to put our add ends in the bar model. One of our add ends is nine. The other add end is seven. Our whole or our sum is 16. So now we'll use our bar model to complete the related subtraction facts. The first one is 16 minus nine. We have our whole of 16, and if we take away our nine, what's remaining in our bar model? Seven is remaining. Go ahead and solve this one now and find 16 minus seven. You should have found that when we have 16 and we subtract seven, we are left with nine. Let's look at the check understanding problem. It says, Kane counts seven grasshoppers in the backyard and some grasshoppers in the front yard. There are 11 grasshoppers in all. How many grasshoppers are in the front yard? So we know that Cain has seven grasshoppers in the backyard and some in the front yard. Do we know how many are in the front yard? We don't, but we know in total there are 11 grasshoppers in all. Go ahead and complete your bar model first, and then write your addition and related subtraction facts. Think about the pieces that you know and the pieces that you're missing. Let's go ahead and check your work. If you're feeling stuck, make sure you follow along. So we know that Cain has, in total, 11 grasshoppers in his yards. So we know that 11 is our whole. He counts seven grasshoppers in the backyard, but only some in the front yard. We need to figure out what that sum is. How are we gonna find that? Well, let's think about how many more do we need to get to 11 from seven? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So how many more? Four. Let's write our related addition, our addition fact. Blank equals blank plus blank. We know our whole is 11, which is equal to seven plus four. If you didn't write your subtraction fact, go ahead and write it now. Good, 
you might have written 11 minus 4 equals 7. You could have also written 11 minus 7 equals 4. So how many grasshoppers are in the front yard? There are four grasshoppers.